Do you want to take your boring mixed hive to an insanely up wide hive? If yes then you clicked on the right video because I will show you the perfect hive composition, gear and amulets that will allow you to become this perfect white hive. All you have to do is drop a like and watch till the end. So let's get into it. So first of all, why choose white instead of blue and red? Well according to the BSS wiki it's the best endgame color since you will make the most amount of honey with it. But at the cost of the being the most expensive color. Also, another good reason why you would want to be a white hive is because it hasn't received as much buffs as red or blue in the closer past. So there are high chance that the one it will buff it and you will make a ton of honey until it balances out. But to be honest that may not happen. I'm just saying that because it has happened with other colors in the past. So yeah, let's get into it. Getting endgame gear for white hive is significantly harder than other hive colors. Why? Well for example gummy baller costs 10 trillion honey in comparison to dark scythe which costs only 2.5 trillion honey. And so on. So what do you need? Well as I just said for collector you will want the gummy baller. Backpack, coconut canister, boots, gummy boots, belt, pedal belt, guards, crimson and cobalt guards, and of course gummy mask. This gear is pretty tough and time consuming to make so be prepared. Also, make sure you get all this gear, except gummy baller which can wait, before you begin to roll your amulets and bees. That's because it's easier to farm materials when you're a mixed hive. So, now let's get to the amulets. If you want a really good hive you should definitely focus on amulets. Why? Well they will give you those saucy stats that will boost your honey production by a lot. So what are the best stats for wide hive amulets? Well here are the shell, stick bug and moon amulet stats that you want to focus on. As you can see you will need goo conversion, honey from tokens, spider field pollen, white pollen, and pineapple patch pollen. Having a couple amulet stats off won't be that big of a problem but you should focus on them after you perfected other hive parts. Next, and, Kagan supreme star amulet. You want to focus on white pollen, markability pollen, honey from tokens, critical chance slash power, pollen, B ability rate and pollen from bees. And of course the most important of them all is the SSA, Supreme Star Amulet. That's why you should focus on getting double passive ability on your switch or gummy star and star saw. And that's that when it comes to amulets. Now let's get to the hive composition. Getting the right bees is last but not least thing that you have to do if you want a good white hive. So is it hard? It definitely is. But, you don't have to get all bees at once, you can progressively change your bees from not useful to white hive to the most useful and that way you are going to balance it out pretty fast. So what bees do you need for white hive? You will need one basic bee, one brave bee, one hasty and one looker bee, one stubborn bee with snow tiara bee quip, one commander bee with whistle bee quip, one honey and one shock bee with kazoo bee quip, four baby bees and one carpenter bee, one lion bee with toy horn bee quip and one music bee. 7 precise bees which 2 of them have smiley stickers and 3 have bubble lights bee quip. 21 vector bees, bear bee with peppermint antennas bee quip and digital bee with sweatband bee quip. Festive bee with festive wreath bee quip and a gummy bee. Photon bee with paper angel bee quip and a tabby bee. And lastly, windy bee with peppermint antennas bee quip. And that should round up to 50 bees. Now, all of those bees have to be gifted, I think you already know that, because they will give you the key buffs that will help you make a ton of honey. But even though if you have all of these bees if you don't know how to boost properly you won't be making a lot of honey. So, stick with me. Boosting as a white hive is fairly simple. First you kill the Mondo chick for its boosts. After that collect planters and get as much nectar as possible. Most important one is satisfying. Then you can start the winds by donating something valuable to the wind shrine. Gold egg or purple potion will work fine. Now the optional step is to find some helpers who will plant the sprinkler in the field that you are going to boost in. After you do that decide what field you are going to boost in according to the winds that you got. The best white field wins. Now go to that field and use glitter. Why glitter before dice? That's because you can use glitter every 15 minutes. And since dice lasts 15 minutes you have to use glitter first and wait for about a minute. After a minute you can use dice and that's because the glitter now only has 14 minutes of cooldown left and you will be able to continue the pollen boost just by reusing it. I hope you got it. Now you can use some consumables, of course the best one would be super smoothie but you can use the cheaper ones as well but you are going to get less honey. It is important that during the boost you sustain max precision, focus and haste. Now here is how much materials you are going to spend if you boost to the max. It is a lot but if you do everything perfectly you are going to make tons and tons of honey. 
If you have any questions make sure to leave them in the comments down below. Also, if you want to know how to make perfect red or blue hive make sure to check out these videos. If you found this video helpful don't forget to leave a like and a sub to let me know that I should make more useful videos. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon.